As a child of the 80s, I grew up like many kids from that era with things that would be frowned upon these days. Sex, violence and horror to some degree were normal and we saw plenty of stuff that kids these days are shielded from. Ghostbusters, He-Man, the video stores were filled with fantastic illustrated covers of movies even kids weren't allowed to see. The 80s introduced tiny monstrous creatures like gremlins, critters, ghoulies and even in a way the garbage pail kids which were very popular with children back in those days. Jumping on this craze came the Boglins, a puppet monster that took many of the characteristics of the above. Ugly little mischievous demons wreaking havoc and causing chaos. And from the moment I saw this commercial, I was hooked. Over here, I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. Oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your Aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglitz. You sold separately, and we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> At one point, after what must have been weeks of whining, my mother took me to the toy store and I vaguely remember seeing all the big boglins placed neatly in a row. I'm not sure why and when I got this one, but I did, and he has been with me ever since. So this is him. This is my boglin called Dwork. He's the green one. There are a couple of other ones of course, but I decided to pick this one because he was the coolest in my opinion. You had uh, you had Drool, Dwork and the Vlop and then you had these little tiny Boglins that didn't appear in our stores at all. As you can see the box is pretty amazing. It's cardboard and gives this authentic feel of wood making you think it's actually a crate where these creatures are kept in, the bars, of course plastic that are bent is a nice little detail the, the awareness stickers on it, beware don't poke figures through the bars of course many of the kids in stores decided to do it just to see if they were alive or not handle through bottom only there's a little hole in the bottom to animate your puppet. So the Boglins, outrageous creatures that come alive in your hands. By Mattel, of course. And on the back side you have a little um, background story. So Bogolist Field Notes. This made the most may be the most significant discovery in history from the swampy bog that time forgot i shall name these creatures boglins observing their bizarre behavior i theorize that boglins may be the missing link to human personalities could it be that long ago boglins taught us how to laugh and cry even how to love it seems that each of the boglins has its own distinct personality. The boglins I have studied pick up human habits quickly and display remarkable affection. However, they do get upset if not returned to the boxes I have built for them. I hereby establish the science of bogology. May all future bogologists learn from these notes and go on to discover new things about this most intelligent and fascinating species. Then you have large boglin species and then the boglinus humongous which is a very funny latin-esque uh, name for these creatures this is observing boglins in their natural habitat in their swamp all boglins had light up eyes they still work of course the only thing i didn't get as a kid was the following and i'll illustrate that in a minute the unique tail design enables you to shovel mud and other food directly into the creature's mouth i never understood this how it works because they have hands why would they use 
this instead of this look. I mean, why? These are the small Buckland Squidge, Slump, 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 Slurp, Spunk, Squawk, and Squeal. Let's see. Oh, this one is also very fun. Do not feed. Let me open the cage and take them out. So my Boglin has a little bit of wear on this side and his mouth, but overall is in nice state. You, my hand is a little bit too big to fit into it, but they have uh, movable eyes. You can make them squint uh, if you can make the fingers work at least. You can poke your fingers to the antennas or the ears, but like I said, my hands are too big. So overall, I'm just using this one to animate the mouth. So to explain, this is the tail. It has always been bendy like this because it stayed in the box. But as you can see, it doesn't reach at all. <laughs> so yeah, that was the thing I was uh, annoyed about as a kid and I still am because it doesn't make any sense. It's an amazing puppet that unfortunately they don't make anymore. I've seen um, something similar a couple of months ago, but it was all plastic and they didn't look nice at all. And it's very sad that kids these days don't have this stuff because I'm sure that they would like this despite playing on uh, Roblox or Minecraft or other stuff. So let me let me put them back in the box. Oh, let me show you inside. Out to lunch. There's Oxo. Humans look weird with weird spelled wrong. These little details that make it just all the more special. And here's the amount of time he's been locked up in the cage plus some kind of mathematical equation I've never seen and hey of course let me put it back gently close the gate so it doesn't escape and say goodbye <laughs>